up guys, Jim Murphy here from You Break It, You Fix It, and this time we're gonna swap out my old cloudy headlights for some new shiny headlights. Let's get to it. All right, what's up guys? Today I'm putting new headlights in my truck because my old ones, I've wet sanded them and polished them a bunch of times and now they're just beyond saving. And some of the headlight tabs are broken. I hit a deer a while ago and busted the headlights up. So now it's time for some new ones. If you're new to the channel, I'm huge on checking in your parts. And that's what I'm doing now, especially with plastic parts like this, because you can get scratches in the lenses, which is a really big bummer if you're putting them in because your headlights are all cloudy. So make sure there are no scratches in the lenses. And it's a big deal. It's a really big deal on these plastic parts because the tabs can break so easily in shipping. I mean, that's just super flimsy. I used to work in a body shop and one quarter of the aftermarket headlights we'd get in would have broken tabs on them. We had to send them back. So when you get these in the mail, wherever you get them, just make sure you pull them out of the box and check them first before you throw them in. But another thing I'll say about checking in parts is it also gives you an idea about the procedure to take them out. So I know that there's a, gonna be two bolts on top. There's also a little pesky bolt down here. It's by the fender, we'll cover that. And I also know there are four bulbs, which is important if you're trying to find the location of the bulb to disconnect the wiring. And it just gives you a good idea what to do. So I gotta pull my big dumb brush guard off, my grill out of the way, and I'm doing a couple other projects on the truck today that I'll cover in other videos. So let's get to it. All right, now I got my brush guard out of the way. Now I just have to pull the grill. That brush guard was a pain in the butt. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull my grill. I'm not going into depth of the procedure because I built that custom grill a long time ago and my brush guard I kind of made the brackets for. So it's not gonna be following any procedure that you would be following. But nonetheless, let's get it out of there. There's a, there's a 10 millimeter bolt in here. If you pull this little rubber dam down here, you can, you can look and you can actually shine a light in there and see it. I usually go in through the fender liner, just pry it back a little bit and get in there. But, but remember, by looking at the new part, we know it's slotted. So you only have to back the bolt out a few turns in order for this to actually be loose and come out. You don't have to remove the bolt all the way. All right, now that, I got the, now that I got this bottom fastener in the fender liner undone, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, top, the two top 10 millimeter bolts here. Of course, there's just that plastic retainer in the plastic retainer in the core support that we'd have to remove after that. All right, one trick I have for you with these headlights, I've replaced a lot of these. People are always way too gentle with plastic parts. Like, yes, this is an older truck. You wanna be careful with the plastic. Plastic responds to fast, quick, jerky movement. So if you're removing you know, a, pl a plastic bumper on a new car, you've probably never done that, but people will, will slowly peel those back like a banana and end up ripping the tabs, where instead it should be just yanked, like just a very quick jerk. Same thing with this retainer. I'm just gonna grab it and pop it out like that. If you go slowly, it allows the tabs to just slowly bend or break out. You wanna just do a fast snap with it. And now the headlight's out. Ish. My bumper's tweaked from hitting a deer, so mine's coming out a little harder. There, it's out. You can see why I'm replacing it, so chalky that is. One thing I'd highly recommend doing when you have the headlight out is to put some penetrating lube on the bolt that's down in the fender liner. No, you're not gonna ever back, no, you don't ever need to back it all the way out, but it's, a, it's the bolt that takes the most abuse to road salt and water and it's the hardest one to replace if you snap that bolt off. Spritz it with some lube while you have the headlight out, that way you have good access to it, and the next time, if you have to pull the headlight out to replace a bulb or something, or you have an accident, then you can, then you can easily back that bolt out. All right, now we're getting somewhere. We got the old headlight out. Now it's time to swap the wiring harness off the old headlight onto the new one. Sometimes aftermarket headlights will randomly come with brand new harnesses on them. I have no idea why. Swapping the harness is pretty easy. You just twist lock all your bulbs out. Like, can I already see I'm gonna have to run to the auto parts store? My blinkers are literally fraying. All right, now I'm working on getting my harness off the old headlight housing onto the new housing. 
um, it's pretty self it's pretty self explanatory with the routing. There's a couple fasteners that hold the harness in. Mine are all rusted. I'm probably just gonna snap the heads right off and be done with it. And then just make sure you refasten it on the new one so this doesn't get caught up on anything in the truck. And one one word of advice, I've got to run to the parts store now and get signal light bulbs because the amber color has completely worn off my signal light bulbs and I didn't notice that. So maybe get a new a new package of those before you start. And also, protect your new light. You can see I have my bulb wrapped down the light came in. Don't just set it on a bench and move it around because you will scratch the lens. I'm going to work on swapping this over so we get the new one put in the truck. As you're swapping over, and for me, I'm putting, like I said, I'm putting new LED bulbs in, in my truck. Save your old old bulbs, even these ones with a worn off amber. Or make good spare bulbs just to throw in the glove box in case you're out driving and you actually have a bulb go out. We put on a lot of miles, usually far from home, so it's nice to have little stuff like this kicking around. I did a serpentine belt video where I told you to do the same thing, the old serpentine belt. Mine was just noisy. Do I want to run it a long time? No, but in an emergency, it's great. You just throw the old one on. You throw the old one on, you don't have to carry a spare $30 belt underneath the back seat of your truck for another 100,000 miles. You might as well just use this old stuff that still works and it can and it can get you through a lot of emergencies. All right, I'm ready to throw the headlight back in. It's pretty obvious what to do. Just fit it in the hole and put your fasteners back in and make sure you lock in this, this clip that goes in a plastic retainer. And then probably the most important part that's easy to miss is to line up this slotted hole with the fastener that's the fastener that's by the fender well. And what I would do on final assembly, if you live in an area like I do that gets cold, wet, and rainy, then make sure you put some anti-seize on the bolts because you're gonna be pulling these headlights out again to replace the bulbs and stuff. Headlights are a pretty common thing to remove and replace. And I would also, on final assembly, put some dielectric grease on the plugs just to keep the, just to keep that all happy in there. I actually had a plug in, I actually had a plug in get so corroded, I had to find one at a junkyard and splice one in from the new end. So it's just a good practice to do. When you plug in your master plug for the harness, make sure you hear it click and pull on it just to make sure it's in there. The, if you don't get it clicked in all the way, it can vibrate loose at some point. Make, make sure you don't pinch the harness between the headlight and the core support. It's very easy to do. When I pulled this side out, I've had this headlight out a bunch of times. And when I pulled it out, there's a spot in the harness where you can tell it was smashed there. I checked the wires. The wires aren't broken, fortunately. Don't tighten all your bolts until you get your grill in to get your final fit and all your gaps. Make sure you have a good gap along your grill, along the hood, and along the back side of the fender before you fully tighten everything down. We're all bolted up. With aftermarket headlights, they're for a lot of manufacturers, they're not gonna fit as perfectly as OEM one. The, these headlights were a fraction of the cost of factory ones. This is just an old truck. I'm not really worried too much about the fit and the gap, but there are a lot of aftermarket headlights that do fit well. So if it, if it fits just a little off side, from side to side, I wouldn't worry about it. You're gonna be the only one to notice it. That is it for this week's video. Make sure you run through and check all your bulbs, signal lights, high beam, low beam before you bolt the headlight in. I forgot to add that in this video. So the first time around, I wanted to add that I created an Instagram account for the channel. So you guys can follow me there throughout the week and see what projects I have going on. I'll throw extra quick tips in there and you'll get an idea of, of bigger projects that are coming to the channel. And again, thank you, and again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time on You Break, You Fix It.